went to World of Coke in Atlanta mm -hmm. for our first anniversary. We were like, she wasn't super into it, at, the, at, the, at least the idea of it. And then mm -hmm. we went there and like it blew her mind. But one of the coolest things is at the very end of it is the taste room. It's like the thing everybody knows about that place. Right. Like that's like. You can taste flavors from all different countries. Um, and it's also like some of the stuff that they, they've like not made or like not not yes, like, it's not released. That, like uh, Fanta has like different Fanta flavors based on country, you know? Yeah. Um, there was a soda I had there that I had while I was in Chile mm -hmm. and I got to have it again there, which was cool. But when you arrive there, the, the, the guy who's like doing the show is like, hey, while you're there, there's a particular Fanta flavor that's only in China and it's called Fanta Sour Plum. Okay. Oh, so good. And he was like, here's the thing. It tastes like barbecue sauce. Okay. So after this whole tour and whatnot, we get to the tasting room. And the first thing I'm looking for, right? I'm looking for, you know, Sour Plum Fanta <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> Beeline for that crap. Yeah, I got you. It, it, it literally tastes like barbecue sauce. I was like... Is that in a good way or in a bad way? So, Rayleigh hated it. Well, okay, so I like... I was like, I want more of this. Okay, so Thanks like, in, in a... Like, I could see how she would hate it, though. Like, like at least conceptually, the idea of drinking something that tastes like barbecue sauce, just straight, doesn't sound appealing. No, but like... It genuinely tasted really. I don't know. I really liked it. I believe you. Oh, so, I was like, so oh, Alan, tastes like barbecue what? sauce. Confession time. I have actually downed a bottle of barbecue sauce on a fucking dare. Oh yeah, I've done it as well. I have too. I can't add. I've done it for twenty bucks. So. so well, no. So like, do you want to know the the? Okay, so if we're going there, so I used to play uh, football all the way through high school. And if you don't know anything about, like, high school football kids, there's testosterone's through the roof, and goddamn, you got to prove your worth. Yep. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's called the military. Uh... So, we went to, so, we went to Pizza Ranch. Does anyone here, do you guys have Pizza Ranch? No. Uh, Nick, do you, you might know, right? Pizza, it sounds familiar. Okay, so, I think the equivalent is CeCe's. But it's yes. oh, you're talking about like the Midwest chain. Yeah, the like all you can eat pizza buffet. So I've I've never had it, but I've seen it. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So first off, let me pre preface with, it is average at best pizza. It is meh at best pizza. Because it's all you can eat, right? Like so. Well, I mean that's like any buffet, right? Like you're not there because the food is good. Oh no, I've had some good Mongolian barbecue. All you can I'm eat buffet. buffet. No, all you can eat Mongolian. Bar there is one in Stillwater. That's all you can eat, Mongolian barbecue, and it's good. I'll say there's that down here, Nick. Remember uh, the Yummy Bowl place? That's all you can eat technically. Yeah, but I'm talking about buffet. Yes, it's a buffet. Like, I mean, the it, it, it really is buffet when you think about it. No, no, no. Like, not you don't have to if think I about. If I can't it. get cheese, if I can't get a pizza and French fries. No, no listen. The reason I say it's buffet likes because you literally have a fucking buffet of fucking items you can throw in your bowl. Oh, I know. I went there for lunch today. No, oh, I'm lucky no. I meant like it's like it's, it's like a golden corral, okay. but like it's Mongolian barbecue. I got gotcha. you. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to derail this. No, it's okay. But so oh, I'm th I that tank shot me out of the house and below the house. I am in the void. Oh, uh, okay. So we were at a pizza ranch after a game, and. I had gotten, I had made the mistake of going to the bathroom while having a drink unattended. Oh no. So. Drink number one. So what that meant was like all of my teammates took my drink and destroyed it with like Parmesan, red pepper flakes, I salt, said crushed pepper. Red pepper. Yeah, like okay. everything, everything that was available. Like pepperoni, you know, they, they they threw whatever they wanted in there. I come back and they're like, there was, between, granted, this remember, this is like high school kids. There was like 50 bucks total from the whole team on the table. They're like, drink it. And I was like, done. <laughs> <laughs> I would have done it for a 20, sucker. 
and I drank it, and I um like it like I drank it, and immediately um, almost like I drank it, and then straight <clears throat> like it like I've never had a more visceral response of where like I ate ate or, or consumed something, and immediately re my body rejected it. Your body just immediately said like no. Either. Alice, Alice, Scott says if me, Nick, and Danzig ever come up there, we have to go. Oh, okay. um, we do have to plan a trip to Minnesota eventually. But... I mean, like, okay, like, here's the thing, Scott. Like, the, with the Pizza Ranch, like, there are better food options up here. I would rather take them to the better places than take them to a Pizza Hear me Ranch. Out. Nah, That's like bringing Phil down here and being like, yo, you want to try some CCs? Like, I just, like... I, there's better things like Matt's Bar. All right, hear me out. There's a great pizza place called Little Caesars. I think it's really right up your alley. <laughs> no, oh and, there's, and there's better pizza places. It's family owned. It's called Papa John's. Sons. Papa's in the name. Yeah. The pa the Papa may have done a few things illegal, but like we don't we don't we don't worry about it. Yeah, you know, that's part of the charm. I think that's part of Minnesota's finest, right? What? Fuck it, minute. Back up. What do you mean he's done some illegal things? Do you not? Do you not know? That's not, totally, that's not a topic we get into. No, this is a topic we not don't on, get into. Not on today. Not, a, not on air. Okay, okay. No, no, no. So hear me out. I get vacation time in uh, February. <clears throat> what are you? Uh, ah, the best time to be in Minnesota. Yeah, I, <laughs> I would. Listen, if you're coming up here, I would highly recommend coming in like either between. Uh, summer. No, no. You want to come between like. April and June or September and October because the summer okay well if we, if we, I was gonna say if we come during October it be my birthday month well okay I'll also say you guys like can handle heat much better than we can uh, wait, wait, wait what do you mean heat up there what heat no I mean heat down here Some, is what he's saying. well because the summers get like 100 degrees here Bullshit! Oh, it does not get 100 degrees. No, it gets hot like that. There, dude. I live here. It really does. I'm telling you, it gets hot. It's not the great. It's not like a fucking subarctic place in Minnesota. No, Alan though. actually lives in Alaska. <laughs> Once the elders push off the week, we can visit. In the summer, they can get like 100 degrees and like yeah, 80 percent hit 100. And like 80 percent humidity. Oh. I mean, how? Uh, weather weather. like that, dude. <laughs> Minnesota has like if you can Google this, and it's an accurate. Th Minnesota has one of the highest temperature ranges, not it's just true. in America, in the world. Yes. Big Papa did major Papa crime. Oh, okay, dude. There's I'll also a reason it's very popular for hunting. Because like it, like in the summer it can get upwards to like a hundred, hundred degrees, and then There's in a the winter people like to hunt in Minnesota. And then in the winter, it gets down to I don't know negative sixty. That's with wind chill, though. Come on. No, no. That's straight up. Like... You gonna take another dip in the lake there, bud? There was literally, like... A, there's, there were winters where you literally couldn't leave. They canceled not just school, but, like... The like state. You, the state closed down because it was... They canceled living this winter, guys. <laughs> they were just like, hey... Uh, it, they're like, listen, it's too cold. Don't go outside. Don't, don't go outside, please. Yeah, they were like, don't go outside there, bud go from one extreme climate to the other. Okay, I'll take your word for it, Scott. I'll also, take I like... his word for it. Yeah, not mine. His, though. No, I'll take both of your word. God damn it. Uh-huh. trying to talk to both you guys and chat. I know. I'm just Anyways. That's your first mistake. Well, I just... No, I'm just more teasing at the fact that you, like, immediately called bullshit on me living here saying... It gets Come that on. hot. Do it counts? Yes, I believe it now. Well, we lost yellow. Well, yeah, because well, there's there, there's like a tank with laser eyes. There's also like Apache helicopters here, so. This is Yeah, hard. I've been trying to shoot those down. I say I've been trying to snipe them down. Snipe them down as much as possible. That's kind of hard real fast. Okay. I see what you're talking about with this minigun where it doesn't have the top and bottom to it. If you don't have it, then you have no accurate aim. It just kicks everywhere. Oh. Um, yep. Yeah. Literally, I was just using it for the T-Rex. It was perfect. But yeah, I would... Such a big target. But like, May and like, September are like, the perfect times to come here. 
because it's not too hot. It's hot in your cold, yes, in your door. And definitely don't come. And then you're out. And if you can avoid oh, it, man. do not come here and do not come here in the winter, like January, February. Not doing there, bud. Do it. I mean, you. If you guys, have you? I mean, look, I'm used to that cold. I get it. Have you been in anything below freezing? Yes. How cold? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think it negative went down. Negative twenty-three. Like, yeah, I think it was like negative ten. In Alabama. Yeah. When? It does actually get that cold. That is. Really? Yes. Yeah. Uh, not often, but like, it does occasionally. I did not know that. Yes, just like it gets hot up there. Well, uh, I like, I thought like, I genuinely thought that the coldest it ever got was like maybe below freezing. I mean, it does go below freezing, but like not that far below freezing. Like. Oh, okay. Well, I'm obviously you, you guys will know. You figure we're right off like the Gulf, so. Well, I just like, I just thought like, yeah, I know you guys get cold, and obviously it snowed there before. I know that much, but like, see, that says a beautiful six degrees. South Carolina too, usually May or September. Been hitting thirties at night. Yeah, see, it gets to the thirties here as well. Yeah, I knew that much, but I just didn't know it got like below zero. Oh, apparently we haven't played Not actually, super actually, often, but like, yes. Yeah, that's what one of those things like. People talk uh, talk about it like the great winter of you know whatever. Ah, uh, I see. And what happens, dude? It will shut the state down. I mean, just the thought of snow shuts the state down. To be fair, look, we like, don't have to go there. Well, they I mean... called in the national guard because there was potentially snow, and the snow didn't show up. I I remember I remember hearing that, and I was very. I was I was in that like. I was disappointed. Hey guys, it's Tater. I just wanted to touch on this real quick because I am originally from Alabama. Um, yes, the if I remember correctly, the years are the winter of 93 and the winter of 2012 because those are the two years that we actually had what the South would call a full-blown blizzard where it looked and felt like the Arctic. Um, I will also say that like the state shuts down completely when it snows because we don't have the resources that states like Colorado, Minnesota, or northern states that have a ton of snow or what have you, such as salting the roads as much or chains on your tires. Like, we're not prepared for that as a state. Um, it's not as bad as, like, where I live now, Colorado. Like, literally yesterday, it was negative 20. So that's my piece. I've lived there for many years of my life, and that's that's... It's very true. It does get very cold there. I will say, I was like, guys. How do you think I felt, man? I was ready to go. Like, like we were all grouped up and we were like literally sitting down doing briefings. Like, okay, so we're going to be, you know, we're going to be pulling cars out of ditches. So here's what we're going to need to do. It's going to be two man teams, you know, and I'm like, you know, in my head, I'm like, this is kind of cool. It's like my first time doing this, right? And then they're like, happen. all right, well, since you guys got here, uh, you guys will take the, you guys will take second shift. So we're like, cool, let's go to sleep. I wake up the next morning, ready to go at like 5 a.m. And we get there and then they're like, hey, there's no missions yet. Just sit and wait. So we sit and we wait. We're like hanging out on our phones, chalk and whatnot. At this point, a few hours go by and then someone finally walks in. And they're like, all right, guys, we got our first mission. Pack up your stuff. We're leaving. <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> You're like, yeah, nothing happened. <laughs> literally, like, like we, we we had all of our gear ready to go. Like, like, we were literally there just to like drive Humvees around the highway and pull people out of ditches. Like that was all we were gonna do. Which, I mean, fair. The Humvee can pull most things out, and like, right. We had wreckers that could legitimately pull semis out of ditches. So like, we could right. do that. We wake up the next morning. I felt bad because there were guys that got there and had to take the overnight shift when nothing happened. So these other guys stayed up all night and no they go reason. to sleep. They wake up a few hours later to be like, hey, we're leaving. <laughs> That's depressing. Oh, See, yeah, you, I, got, I you, guys so been here, you guys should have been here in 2013 when it actually got really bad. Oh, what? What? What happened? I'm not, I'm not mocking Like, you, legit, genuinely... legitimate fucking snow, dude. Like, legitimate fucking snow. Yeah. There, there shut, is... um, it shut the whole state down and stranded thousands of people. Like, legitimately stranded. How much? Not in a mean way. Just how much snow? 
I think it was like right. about seven inches or something like that. I don't seven know. I have inches, yeah. Which, admittedly, to the north is not much. I'm though. not I saying it. A lot. I'm not no, saying okay. anything. I'm saying it for the viewers and people who watch like the video and the stream. Like the north again, seven eight inches is not much, but our state shuts down for two An inches inch. of snow, yeah. or even a single inch. Well, I, like, so, like what, what what people have to realize is like, and this is what you like. This is just for everybody, not just like, like, it's not the fact that it it's seven inches is a lot for Minnesota. Minnesota has the infrastructure to handle. Yes, yes. I was literally gonna say like Alabama does not have like. The, you guys trucks. don't have the infrastructure. Like, it, so, do you know what the bright idea Alabama has for when snow's on the ground? Oh, let's put, put salt can. on the ground, or not salt, no. uh, sand. Yeah, we'll put sand, and that'll go just fine. I mean. So like, it is an alternative, but not the best. Yeah, yeah it doesn't. It doesn't. Get in a it, ditch, like, yeah, it doesn't yeah. help with anything when there's ice. Yeah, I agree. Uh, well, because they. Clubs is right. Yeah, it's yeah. So like, what, what what also to keep in mind with it is that like, um, yeah, you guys like you guys have what maybe ten total plows in the whole state. That's that's giving us some credit. There's one yeah. and it's parked outside of like Mima Ivy's, you know. Right. It's like parked outside. But of her, my her my place. but my point is that yeah, you don't have plows. Minnesota yes. has like one plow per like square. Alan, inch. you probably know somebody who drives their own snowplow. Oh no, no, like that's that's a like that is a job. You that's can... a seasonal job that you, we both know people that do that. Yeah, you literally yeah. just. I found a fucking shrine with singing monks. I'm not even kidding. What? Get over here. Get over here to where I am. Where are you? Oh, there I see you. Oh, you found the cult room. The what? The what? I'm here. And I'm, look. I'm with you. Excuse me. What? <laughs> are they? Are they? Are they praising the battery? Well, I, I stole your oh, god. Haha. Haha, got your god. Uh, funny, this is how the second Star Trek movie started. I believe this is what caused one of the Crusades. I uh, got uh, your god. I snowblower. Wait, you can actually buy snowblowers? Yes. yes. Snowblo uh, gas Dude, again, snowblower? Dude, again, we have the infrastructure. We need it. It's like... Eight Alan, you gotta understand, like... When I came, well, like, I've been coming here for a long time, and then I finally moved here. It's genuinely wild to be. They're like, why would you use salt? You're like, because it it melts gets stuff. rid of the ice. Actually, here's a better thing, Alan. Do you ever do the thing as a kid where you would take the the pot of hot water and you throw it outside and yeah. it, like turn into snow immediately? Oh, well, have you ever done the thing where you're taking like, like a snowboard and like taking the or not a snowboard, a skateboard? And take the trucks off of it and use it as a snowboard. Yes. Or do you? Did you ever do the? Uh, you take a hot towel help, and I help throw it man. up, and it comes down like solid. Yeah. These things aren't taking damage. You have to shoot for the chest. Boy, I've been shooting <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, apparently not the chest though. Get good. Uh, it's not, I it's am not point blank on this man's nipple. Yeah, no. What do the, you mean? The, the chest is not the issue. Let's see. Get I threw up for the snow. Oh, was... red! You twat! Dude, these. I think the game is bored. Oh, yeah. No, they're still counting. 